Hi there. Hope all is well. Yeah, that's right. Good question. If a battle is lost in advance, is it worth still fighting? I know what I have to do. I have been part of the problem for the past 15 years. I know what Google does, uh, what all those companies trying to feed you good services and products in exchange for data, your privacy, you're naked on the internet, you know that. But understand also that the trade-off, I mean, starting with this, this is the remote control of our life. Uh, no way anybody's taking that away from me. Facebook account, you want to stay in touch with your kids, family and friends. Nobody's going to take that away, even if some people say it injects dopamine in, uh, in your brain, a little bit like what alcohol, drugs or gambling does. And when I say I've been part of a problem, it's 15 years of marketing on the internet and 10 years prior marketing in general. So I know what it is to influence customer behavior. I know what it is to gather data to take better decisions. I know how useful it is. And I know how data is the new gold. It's the new currency for startups. They can lose money on the spreadsheet, but are still very valuable because of data, what they know. Also, it's one thing to swallow data, to, get, to gather as much data as possible. It's another to be able to analyze and act upon the data, do something about it. And I needed to come out. I'm just starting. It's been only a few days. My coming out is just that it's too much. I'm overwhelmed. Uh, I, I, I think we went too far. Governments are just lost. Companies are a few, and not just a few companies, are taking over the world, controlling our lives. But is it so bad? I mean, we're just here to spend a good time while we are on Earth, and then whatever happens, happens. Why should you care? You know, I mean, this is the remote control of our life. Nobody is taking that away from me. What's all about? Why are certain people saying that this is evil? Why are certain people saying that Facebook is dangerous? Why are certain people saying that Google is also evil? <laughs> what I do know is you have two sides colliding right now. One side is telling, yeah, shut down your Facebook account. Don't let your kids uh, play with an iPad more than 15 minutes a day. Uh, don't use Google, and so on. The other side says, hey, we offer good product and services. Yeah, data is uh, part of the game. We need data to make better product and services. It sounds simple. And I try to stay in the middle. I don't want you to shut down Facebook or turn, turn over your, your smartphone, but you do have to watch out for a few things. So I'm giving you three main tips to live a better life right out there uh, on the internet. Should we leave the power in the hands of a few people and a few companies? I don't know. We can't count on governments to, uh, to help. They, they are too late. They, they don't get it. It's taking too much time for regulations. So, and most regulations are just halfway or hitting wrong or nah. It's a mess. We have the power. We can take over. We can decide. We can change. Those companies are very sexy and very good at attracting you. But the truth is, the alternatives, a few years back, I would not have said that. For some part of our digital life, alternatives are good. What triggered this little rant is a comment I got on a, a previous video saying, yeah, the people... They just don't care, you know, it's a trade-off, simple trade-off, fine, you, you give me a good service, or even sometimes I pay for that, that product or service, and what should I care? My, uh, my data, I don't have anything to hide. Well, <laughs> you don't know, that's the thing, you don't know. I just don't see why we should be naked on the internet when we don't have to be. That's, that's what I don't understand. There is no 
There are no reasons to behave like that. If we uh, put in real life our behavior online, it would be it would be crazy. It would be insane. Things evolve, and maybe we are used to get tracked, to get analyzed, to get profiled. Maybe it's actually for the better good. I think we we need to stay in control of our, of our lives and especially about things that we don't need to say. Why would why would we want to to say to a stranger named Google where we go, like every footstep or Apple? For what reason? Okay, to have a better GPS, to have better localization if you lose your phone. You want to be free, you don't want to be controlled, you don't want to be supervised, but you let that company do it. Is it pointless what I'm doing? Is this just a waste of time? Maybe. But I just want to do my part. It's for my own good, for my sanity, because I've been in there for so long and I've seen so many things that I have a duty. I got to win some karma points back, basically. And if I got to change one person's life, then that's what I was here for. Uh, if I can change 100 or 1,000, at least I feel, feel that it's doing me good because I'm doing the right thing. And it's always the right thing to do the right thing. You can't deny that. So now, in our busy lives, when especially when we don't really understand what's going on, we see, we read the news, we... There is something really shady going on with technology. You know, I know that you know. We're busy and we need this stuff, so we carry on. Let's just pause, like, it doesn't take too much time. A few minutes. Think about it and act upon it. Take the good decision for your kids, for your family, for your friends. Influence others by being a leader in the way you approach uh, technology. It's not rocket science. You can learn how to have a decent, sane behavior online with technology in general. I'm going to try to provide as much information as possible. So please subscribe, subscribe and activate the bell. Let me know if I can help in any way or shape or form. And... Let's do this. Let's uh, not be tech fools. Let's not be fools about technology. Thanks for watching.